So the story begins with children playing with sticks and stones and rag dolls on the floor of their hut in the middle of the forest. And their uncle comes to visit them. And the uncle says, why are you playing with these trifles when the cosmic fig tree is right outside your hut? Go out under the tree and wish for anything you want and it will give it to you. Then you can be playing with real toys instead of these trifles. The children don't believe him. How can there be a tree where you wish and it gives it to you? This is not the way the universe is built. So they wait until the uncle leaves. And then they rush to the tree and they start wishing. They wish for sweets and they get them. And they gorge on the sweets and they get stomach ache. They wish for toys and they get them. And they play with the toys and they get bored. Fancier toys lead to greater boredom. There was something about the tree that they did not understand. It grants you what you ask for and along with it comes the exact opposite. Because that's how the universe is built of dualities. The children didn't know that. All they knew is that they couldn't stop wishing under the tree and the more they wished, the more miserable they were. Then they get to be young men and women. And now they're wishing for what young men and women wish for. The four main fruits of the tree were sex, fame, money and power. And with each comes its opposite and the result was more misery and suffering for the young men and women. Meanwhile, a lame child had been watching all this from inside the window of the hut. He also wanted to go out and wish for a good leg so he could walk. But there was such a crowd of people thronging under the tree and they pushed him away. He couldn't get through. So he stood there and he watched. And he saw how the tree was making everybody miserable. The people who were wishing were miserable. The people who were thronging to get under the tree were miserable. The animals were suffering from all the wishing. And with that he began to feel a well of compassion come from within him for all that suffering. And he lost the desire to wish. He became detached from the tree. And with that combination of compassion and detachment, he was the happiest of the lot. That that wishing child and the watching child are inside each one of us. That is the duality within us. And the purpose of all meditation techniques is to discriminate between your watching child and your wishing child. So that you can observe your own wishing child. And to identify with your watching child. Because that is the compassionate, detached part of yourself. The same problem comes up again. Because Arjuna, who is the protagonist, goes to Krishna and he says, Why should I fight the battle? Why should I wish under the tree? Why don't I just sit here and meditate upon you and I'll be happy? And Krishna says, no. You have to participate in the universe. You have to wish under the tree. And then he taught him how to wish. You see, the people who were wishing were miserable because they were standing under the tree and wishing for themselves. He said, if you go under the tree and you wish for the benefit of all, and you become detached from it, so you don't want to accept anything from the tree for yourself, then you'll be perfectly happy wishing under the tree and everybody will be happy around you too. 